What's up everyone and welcome back to Top 5 Central. Today we're looking at the Top 5 Kids Who Got Caught Stealing Part 3. Now if you want to watch the original two parts of this video, you can find them in the description below. But you guys just like these videos so much, so drop a like if you possibly want to see another episode. With that said, right now go click the top of the description and enter my free Amazon gift card giveaway. It takes less than 10 seconds to do all the steps and you literally enter for free money, so why not do it real quick? Anyways, with that said, let's get right into the video. Number 5. Now this video opens with a simple question, why are you stealing? I mean it's a good question, and it's a question that made the two kids in the car literally burst into tears. Now to kind of give the backstory, Elijah is a 3 year old boy and when his family went to the children's place at the New Yorktown mall, he wanted his mom to buy him a chapstick, but she said that she wasn't going to buy it for him. However, when they got back to the car, Elijah pulled the very same chapstick out of his pocket, which obviously means he stole it from the store. And at that point, his mom was really really mad and knew she had to do something about it. But a help actually comes for Elijah in the form of his older sister, Journey. Journey was pretty upset about everything that was going on as well, probably because she thought her little brother was going to end up in jail or something, so she started talking about how her brother probably didn't know that he was stealing. It turns out that Elijah's actually a pretty good kid though and ended up being honest because when his mom asked him if he knew he had stolen the chapstick, he said yes. Like obviously Elijah was pretty sorry that he had done a bad thing, otherwise he wouldn't have been crying as much as he was and so yeah, that's it. Why are you stealing? He probably didn't know. Of course he knew. I said that I wasn't going to buy this. And you put that in your pocket, right? So that's stealing. So what happens to people who steal? What happens to people who steal? They go to jail. So you're going to jail. Because you took this. You can't be stealing, okay? Why should I give him another chance? Tell me why. Because he didn't probably know! He didn't know that he's gonna say that! Number 4 For an 11 year old thief, one of the worst things that could probably ever happen to you is being caught by the police, and that's exactly what happens to the kid in this clip. Now obviously the police had already been told about the kid because they were ready and waiting as soon as the kid showed up. Apparently the kid is a known shoplifter, so as soon as the cops saw the kid, he asked the kid for what was in his pocket, which was basically a can of soda which he was trying to steal. But believe it or not, that's not what the cop was there for. Apparently a local shop had his window smashed open with some rocks by some kids. As a matter of fact, it was apparently the kids who were known for stealing that had also been seen breaking the windows at the other store. However, by the time the kids get outside, they know that it's not just the theft that they were getting in trouble for, it was the windows as well, and the kid in the black hoodie starts immediately crying. Now I think the worst thing about this video is the kid in the blue absolutely throwing his friend under the bus, like straight up saying that he saw the kid in the hoodie throwing rocks in the window. What I find pretty crazy though is after he admits he's the one who broke the windows in the past, the police officer actually puts the kid in handcuffs and finds even more stolen goods up his sleeves, which makes the kid cry even more. It turns out the kid thinks he's a bit of a bad boy because he even smokes and he's 11 years old. Now this raises the question, if you were his parent what would you do, would you punish him or what? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, little kids? Yeah. Yeah, they were just in the How's it going, guys? Can I talk to you too? Yeah. Alright, let's go outside. Why'd you have this in your pocket? Why why else do you think I'm talking to you? You could check me, I don't Why else do you think I'm talking to you besides this? What other reason might I be here trying to contact you? You know what? I'm gonna put you in handcuffs. You're gonna go in the back of the car until we get a hold of your parents, alright? Well, how much more stuff were you stealing? This is, I mean, we're, we're at a whole, I mean, why are you stealing lighters? You break windows and then you you got stuff up your sleeves, a Red Bull in your pocket. What do you need a lighter for? Do you smoke? No. Why do you need a lighter for? Do you light fires? No. I just like... Number three. Okay, so stealing candy bars and lighters is one thing, but when you steal a bunch of clothes that are worth a total of $786, then things are a little bit more serious. Basically, the kid in this video tried to steal a bunch of clothes from a store at Myrtle Beach in South Carolina, and he probably would have gotten away with it if he hadn't been a So basically, the kid in this video tried to steal a bunch of clothes from a store at Myrtle Beach in South Carolina, and he probably would have gotten away with it if it hadn't been for one of the store clerks who caught him. So basically, the store clerk sits him by the counter and waits for the local cops to show up, and really, you'd expect everything to be over then and there, but this encounter is a lot more interesting than that. At first, the cops just talked to the kid a bit, trying to figure out what was going on. And that's when they realized that the kid was in fact a thief, so they start to lecture him on how much they love the city and how they don't want thieves messing things up. Unfortunately, the guy who was doing all the filming in this video got told to turn his camera off by the cops, but that's when things get crazy. According to the description, this was the exact moment that the kid who had been caught shoplifting decided to try and make his great escape. 
I'm not even joking. While the cops were distracted, he actually tried to run away, but luckily the cops had a pretty quick reaction and tackled him straight to the ground. Well, that's what the description says anyway. Too bad we'll never get to see it on camera. Number two. Now all the videos so far in this list have had kids stealing things on purpose, like they realized what they were doing while they were doing it. This video though is totally different and it's really funny because of that. So from what we can see, obviously the kid and his family had just been out for a meal at some restaurant, but the kid hadn't finished his drink so he just took it with him. Pretty normal, right? Well, it would be normal if the kid had a carton of juice or something, instead he has a plastic cup from the restaurant itself, which means he's just stolen it. What's really funny though is you can tell this kid is like a pretty good kid because as soon as he realizes what he's done, he's absolutely terrified and he wants to take the cup back so everything's right in the world. Like I'm not even kidding when I say this is probably one of the most scared kids I've ever seen in one of these videos. Like he's just screaming that he wants to take the cup back so he doesn't get in trouble with the restaurant. But to be honest, it's actually even funnier because not only does he think he's gonna get in trouble with the people at the restaurant, he thinks he's gonna get in trouble with the cops as well. Now his mom doesn't make things any better for the poor kid because she actually acts like she's gonna call the cops on him for stealing. I mean, I guess it's good to teach the kid a lesson, but I couldn't stop myself from laughing when he started screaming about how he was her son and that he's begging her not to call the cops. This next video stars a kid who accidentally walked out of a restaurant. He took his cup with him. Not only did he think he was gonna get in trouble with the restaurant, he thought he was gonna get in trouble with the cops. No! Sakari, but you stole it. I wanna take it back! Please! <laughs> Sakari, you already left. Mom, please don't call the cops! Please! Sakari, I don't know what you want me to do. You stole the cup. <laughs> I'm scared! Number one. Okay, when you're five years old, everything seems to be way more important and scary than it actually is. And when this kid stole some candy from her teacher and then got caught, she was seriously scared about being thrown behind bars. Honestly, this video is absolutely hilarious because of the little girl, as she tried pretty much everything to get herself out of going to jail. Like at first, she tried to blame it all on her friend, saying that it was her friend who told her to do the stealing, but the kid's mom wasn't really buying it and decided to tell her daughter that they were gonna go to the police station. Now this is when the little girl's desperation to not go to the police station really kicks in. Like she asked her mom to take off her shoes, to relax, and that she'll relax too. According to the kid, her mom could spank her, she could scream, she could do whatever, as long as she doesn't have to go to the police station. Then her mom asks if she's ever gonna steal again, and she says she's gonna cut that out and she'll never do it again. So I reckon she probably learned a lesson from this one. And Miss Prescott, that's her candy. Uh -huh. I didn't, you know what, I go to Papa, I like candy, uh -huh. but the reason is I was stealing is because I did it by accident because my friend asked me. Yeah, but you're not supposed to take nothing that you didn't, your friend asked you, but did you ask the teacher? No, mommy. Exactly, so let's go. We're going to the police station. No. You think stealing is okay? I'm not. I promise, I promise. You promise what? I promise. I mean, she take off your shoes, relax, and I will, I will relax too. But you can spank me, you can, you can do whatever, you can scream, you don't have to promise. And uh, mommy, I don't want to go to the police station. And there's our video on the top five kids who got caught stealing part three. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe so you see whenever we upload a video. Also, if you have your own top five or top 10 idea, feel free to use your extremely handy form in the description and submit it. With that said, thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.